Well, <clears throat> sure. Springtime means we have like 101 different projects going on. Our maiden voyage is going to be here in a couple weeks. A couple weeks, and to be honest with you, you know, we've created a list of things that need to be done by a big list <laughs> by our trip. And so there's this balance, right? Scheduling this trip has caused us to go into overdrive and actually finish the things that need to be done, which is good. On the other end. <laughs> <laughs> we're super freaky stressed out because freaky stressed out yeah I feel freaky stressed out because we have all these things that need to be done on top of everything else that's happening I work full-time and then I have bees coming in in a couple weeks I'm going to be aviary and I've got all these installations I've got to do and then you've got a million things going on with you what's going on yeah. with you my moon flower child business I've got azalea that I take care of all throughout the day on top of the fact that my bus I'm going to a new home so I'm working on right now cleaning that bus out because it's been used for storage. I want to get it nice and squeaky clean on the inside. So I've been also busy going through everything in there, going through my inventory. I like your copper staff. Oh yeah, well, sorry Hakuna, I didn't know you creeped up on me. Um, yeah, this is, gonna, this is all curtain rod. Beautiful. So with that, let's just get straight to it. I'm going to be, as per usual, sound like a broken record, working on stuff on the inside. Justin is going to be working on stuff on the outside. We're hoping to apply for insurance for the bus this week and get that nailed in. <sighs> Back to the maiden voyage. We have been asking whether or not you guys wanted to see a live stream and thinking in the actual moment that it's probably going to be easier to do a live stream off of a phone than a laptop. So if you do want to join us for the live stream, we're still going to work out an exact time, but it's going to be on our Instagram, which I will plug here somewhere big. Um, make sure that you follow and subscribe or whatever you're supposed to do on Instagram so that you can be notified when that is going to happen um, and we will try and put out a notification reminder also on YouTube and we'll just keep reminding you on the next few videos so that you can be with us for that. Now with that said we have only a few weeks left yeah. and we are going to be knocking all the final stuff out. Come and join us along for the continual work the forever work. No, not the, forever. <laughs> <laughs> what feels like forever work. Oh, you know on what else bus. we can do? We what? can actually also attach those um, mirrors on the front. Cool. So, more work done. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. All right, back to work. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. I'm cutting the ends off. These are obviously lower than they needed to be. I want to make sure that they're not too close to the ground. So I'm just cutting the ends off. This is just finishing touches to the water tank installation. And so once I get these cut, pretty much the water tank is ready to go, which is huge. So now all we have to do is cross our fingers and hope it doesn't fall off when riding down the highway. So apparently this is the only brush that we have. <laughs> so this might take a while, but I'm going to stain these pieces here with the same stain that we used throughout the shower floor, basically just decking stain. Okay, how does this moment make you feel? Getting your captain's chair in. Stoked. So the house is a total wreck, but we're having a little midday snack, a little veggie burger sesh on the floor. Picnic in the kitchen. Check out these tiny little cute little burgers. Mm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> also, side note, we talked about our diet. Juby was saying how I eat meat and heavy stuff. Not I also always. eat vegetarian. It's true. Super down. And Azalea. Cuckoo. Anyhow, we're going to enjoy our lunch and continue working on the bus later today. So, while Justin took care of Azalea because she was driving me crazy, I cleaned the front portion and I guess the back as well of the bus because it was getting a little out of hand. Um, and Justin now currently is attaching the bolts and stuff that we need um, so that our fridge can be really secure whenever we're driving. So, here is where those are going. There is one down there. And we're putting another one all the way up there. 
done painting those. So these look really good. And I painted also this wood. We still have to resin that toilet room floor, but for now it'll work. So what's your plan for this? You're gonna attach a ratchet strap across? Okay. Cool. Strap for fridge. Let's do the one plug cover underneath the sofa. <laughs> Okay, it's Saturday and Justin's doing some beekeeping for his biz and I'm working on getting things ready to take down to his grandma's house because we are going to put some things in storage. Um, and also this bus is going next week, bittersweet. Anyhow, so I'm going to finish organizing. I've got things we're putting in storage back here. Things for my business, things for Zalia, things over here for the bus. Oh yeah, and then, woo, Justin's honey stuff. And probably more for the bus over here. We have two weeks before our maiden voyage. And let's see, we've got one week hopefully to get insurance. Um, so cross your fingers for us. We have a couple of things to actually announce since you probably watched this video and you're thinking still that we're gonna be doing our maiden voyage in a couple weeks time from now. We have something very important to say about that. Um, today we are packing things up. We're purging some things to put in storage over at Justin's grandma's house like I had mentioned. I'm making a breakfast. Azalea's hanging on the floor. Justin is out loading the car and I'm making his coffee. He doesn't eat breakfast, but I do. So let me just show you what I'm having. Let me turn this fantastic fan down. It's a little crazy loud. I am making mushrooms with spinach on toast with avocado, a little piece of cheese, Dijon mustard. Oh yeah, and an egg. Do you want your coffee? Thank you. Thanks baby, the best. I'm already in a better mood. Good. I haven't even taken a sip yet. I'm in a good mood, I had a good breakfast. Well first and foremost, we're still getting rid of crap. The Moonflower Child bus is supposed to sell next week and move out. And good lord, like, I'm being quite honest with you, we've been downgrading or downsizing all of our crap for how long? Like a year now? Over a year. Over a year now, and it blows my mind. Still, how much we have. How much crap we freaking have still. It's Even unbelievable. Even living 20. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Now, when we say that, in most people's <laughs> eyes, you'd be like, dude, you don't own anything. Well, in our eyes, it's like, it holy. Um, so anyway, we're doing that today. We're taking, grandma was solid enough to be like, hey, you can store like a couple things in our garage. So thanks grandma, solid. Special you, announcement is kind of maybe a little disappointing, but. Well, we wanted to be real, man. I mean, I'm telling you, we've been focusing and working so hard on this trip that's coming up on for Earth Day weekend in April. We've been busting our butts. Next weekend. Yeah, is it? No, the weekend, weekend after. Weekend after next. next. Yes. Needless to say, we have a list a mile long, and I don't think the list is too overwhelming. But to be honest, when you've got a business here, a business here, a baby, and then a bus that's about to sell, and then a, a bus you have to, yeah, and a full time job, and then an insurance you have to get for a bus, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Anyway, there's. We've been so stressed out the past few days and we've been talking about it too. We've been at so high stress, we haven't had a chance to really like sit down and enjoy ourselves. We've been running at way too fast of a speed. We've done this in the past before and you know now we're at least cognizant enough to understand that we're going way too fast and we need to just chill. That the date that we put for us to take this bus out on the road is just it's too much. It's weighing too heavy on us right now. There's too many moving ports that have deadlines pretty much within the next two weeks. Yeah. We've decided to push off the date to about two weeks later, give or take, to another festival that's going to be happening here in the local area that we normally go to every year. It's a lot of fun called Shikori Hills mm -hmm. Music Festival. I've vended at it with um, the bus that's going to be leaving. Oh. 
think it's on this side. Yeah. Is it? We need to remember. I don't know. I'll be. I'll link the video so you can watch yeah. it. Um, it was an awesome little festival that I vented at. Um, we've been to it a few times, and it was. Was it the first festival we ever went to together? We're trailing off. This isn't about the festival. Oh, yeah, this is Akuna. about the decision. <laughs> Excuse us, Akuna. <laughs> So the point being is that we're going to be pushing the date back a little bit for our mental sanity. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that is really important to us is getting this bus on the road. And when we set deadlines, we commit to those deadlines. They're extremely important to us. And it's even more so important because we've been working on this project for over a year now. Yeah. So it was a tough decision for us to push this back. But overall, we decided that our mental sanity needed to be kept and we have a lot going on and it's fair that we push this back just a couple weeks um, still keep a goal in mind um, but just push it back just a little bit so something to keep in mind a lot of times things aren't going to happen on schedule when you're working on a bus I guess you set yourself high bars and then sometimes you've got to be able to transition whenever you have projects on the bus yeah so, be flexible because you know it's going to take longer than you think and it's going to be harder than you think and just so many things are much more complex than you might realize. And I guess if life is just getting overwhelming, then I think the, the point is to live a slow life and be in the slow lane and all that good stuff. And I think we were driving a bit fast without even driving anywhere. So. It was like 80 miles an hour on cruise control. So yeah. No, it was uh, more like 150. That's what it felt on, like. Like cruise control that we didn't even set. So with all that being said, we just wanted to let you guys know that there will still be a maiden voyage. Maiden voyage is still gonna happen. It's been but postponed. Postponed by a couple weeks. Yeah. It's still gonna be super epic, but we're doing this for ourselves. And to be honest with you, I feel like a hundred pound gorilla guy just moved off my back. Or is it like a 300 pound gorilla? <laughs> a super heavy gorilla got taken off my back and I feel great about it. So today we're gonna to be going to visit Jima again. Just spending some time with the family, hanging out, enjoying our Sunday and taking a much needed Zen day. So with that said, you wanna show us what you've been packing on top of the car? No, I don't. Actually. It's a show. I'll show you guys, hold on. The bus is almost empty and as you know, we drive a Honda Civic and this is what she looks like. We have two tubs on the roof. Got my grandma's chair in the back. I wonder if we can protect it with an Ikea bag. But you're gonna ratchet strap clothes. Got some Ikea bags. Got a lot of stuff that we are taking with us on the road. So we, with that said, we are gonna put the camera down and get this show on the road. Peace. Come on, you almost got it. Come on. Somebody's trying to eat some chippies. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, here you can have one. <laughs> That's not pretty really suitable, babe. <laughs> you can play with the chippy. <laughs> She's gonna suck on like pure salt. Watch out, put her foot in this dip. There you go. Now you have your chippy. You can even look inside. It's in the mystery bag. <laughs> Not that exciting, huh? She's like, let me get some dip, man. You have to send in these pictures to get approved for the insurance company and we're wondering what type of pictures did you send in when you got insured so you know obviously we have this stipulation that we can't live in it full time we can only live in it or you know no more travel than six in it. months after the year yeah so what kind, of be the common thread, what kind of pictures did you send in did you send in somewhere it was like a completely empty bus or were they you know just as it was how many pictures did you send in you know what did they look like uh, we'd love to hear um, what your experience was with that because we know insurance is a funny thing with converted school buses. She's going to 